Hello friends, this video on light shadows and reflection part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So the question is, in each of these objects, why do we have these three different types of objects? That's because light when falls on an object interacts in different ways with different objects. So for example, in some objects light gets reflected. In, when light falls on certain other objects, they get absorbed by the object. Whereas in certain objects, light gets transmitted. That is the light passes through that object completely. So these are the only three possible interactions of light when it falls on an object. Now depending on whether the light gets transmitted or absorbed or reflected, materials are classified as transparent, translucent or opaque. So let us say this thing which you see here is an object. So whenever light falls on it, so this is an incident light. So either the light will get reflected, that is it will bounce back like this or the light will get absorbed by the object or the light will get transmitted, that is it will pass through the object. So in which type of object all the light gets transmitted through it? That happens in transparent objects because transparent objects allows light to pass through them. In which type of object light doesn't get transmitted at all. So that is opaque object. In opaque object light will either get reflected or absorbed. When you talk about a translucent object there some part of light will get transmitted, some part of light will get absorbed and some part will get reflected. So depending on, on how much amount of light is reflected, how much amount is absorbed and how much is transmitted an object is classified as a transparent, translucent or opaque object. Now what decides what would be the interaction of light? How do we know that how is light going to behave with a particular type of object? So that completely depends upon the nature of material of the object. It also depends on the nature of medium through which the light travels. Whether light is traveling through air, light is traveling through water or any other medium. So type of medium, type of material of the object decides how light will interact with a particular object. Now let's look at this screen. This screen gives you a fair idea about how different transparent, translucent and opaque object would be. So let's say if this is a butterfly, when you look at it through a transparent object like a glass, you would be clearly able to see the butterfly. So as you can see here, this portion of the butterfly is clearly visible because this part is transparent. Now let's say here you have an object which is translucent like a frosted glass. So there also you are able to see that okay a butterfly exists there but you are not able to see it very clearly. And here on the third part you have an opaque object and therefore this part of the butterfly is not at all seen because light is completely blocked through this opaque object. So that's how transparent, translucent and opaque objects are different. So let us classify these objects which you see on the screen as transparent, translucent or opaque. So let's talk about the mirror. What do you think? Mirror is transparent, translucent or opaque? Now in mirror, are you able to see the objects which are present on the other side of the mirror? No, because mirror doesn't allow light to pass through it. So mirror is a opaque object because here light is not getting transmitted rather than light is getting reflected that is why you are able to see your image so mirror is nothing but a thin now you might say that but mirror is also made up of glass so when you look at the window glass panes it allows light to pass through it then why is the glass on the mirror not allowing light to pass through it that's because mirror is actually a thin glass slab which is coated with silver on one side so it is silvered on one side because of which it just has that glass thing on one side the other side is being silvered so the that side which has the mirror that surface is highly polished and it is like highly shiny surface therefore it reflects all the light it, whenever light falls on such a shiny smooth surface it gets reflected uniformly because of which image formation takes place therefore mirror is an example of opaque object you look at the bulb so the glass which is there on the bulb 
that glass is transparent translucent or opaque definitely that is transparent because it allows you to see through so you are able to see the filament inside the bulb through these glass so that is transparent similarly the glass in the spectacles that is also transparent because it allows you to see through it the thermometer glass is again transparent it allows you to see the reading you think of a shirt what is it it is opaque because through the shirt you are not able to see what is there on the other side similarly when you think of a book that is opaque because you are not able to see what is there on the other side of the book what about uh, say oil oil is transparent translucent or opaque obviously it is not opaque but a lot of times we have a lot of confusion whether oil is transparent or translucent. Now, when I say oil, it is a very generic term because there are different types of oils. There are vegetable oils, cooking oils, hair oils, etc. So a lot of oils are transparent, whereas some oils are also translucent. Now, how can we say that oil has transparency? Now, have you ever observed that a sheet of paper, a dry sheet of paper appears to be opaque? You are not, you cannot see through that paper. But when that paper is uh, dipped in oil, when you dip that same paper in oil, what happens? It becomes translucent or it becomes transparent to some extent. So this increased transparency of the paper is because oil has this transparent or translucent nature in it similarly you would have seen that um, when a paper is wet when water is poured on a paper the paper becomes transparent that is also because of the same logic because paper as such is opaque but water is transparent so when water is mixed with paper the paper also gains some transparency so it becomes kind of translucent so basically this is how, now I hope you will be able to classify objects as transparent, translucent or opaque. Okay. So thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.